I hurt my finger. I closed the window on it like an idiot. <laughs> Hi Royals, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my little kingdom and today we're going to do a makeup tutorial so I can show you how I transform into Snow White for my cosplay photo shoots. So first things first, gotta get this hair off my face. Of course, in true Snow White fashion, we're going to use a little red bow to just get that hair off my face so we can start some makeup. Oh shit, what did I do? I'm not used to this camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so of course the first thing we're going to do is take a primer. I'm using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Yes, my products are disgusting and I'm sorry, but we're just going to have to deal with it. And I'm just putting that on a little stippling brush. Oh, look at me. I'm a beauty YouTuber. Huh. So I'm just going to get that all over my face because of course photo shoots can take hours you want to make sure your makeup is staying on and a good primer is gonna help with that so next is foundation and I have personally found that the best foundation for me um, that works well with my pale ghostly white skin and also stays on all day gives me that good full coverage that you want for a princess photo shoot is the Estee Lauder double wear and I am currently using the shade 1N0 which is porcelain I poured out too much Oops. <laughs> Take that on a sponge and just go ham. Especially for photo shoots, you really want to get a good full coverage foundation. Especially when it's a Disney photo shoot because the princesses are perfect. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just bouncing it and pressing it into the skin, just making sure that I cover everywhere. The only spot that I am not hitting is just under my eye because I'm gonna go in the concealer there and the less product you have under your eye, the less chance you have of it creasing. So I'm trying to get a lot on this nose because I cannot keep makeup on my nose for some reason. Now that we're looking like a ghost. <laughs> it's time for concealer. This is the Born to Glow in alabaster then that is what I put under my eye just a tiny tiny bit lighter than my ghostly white complexion I get a lot on my nose around the corners where I'd be the reddest and yeah that'll do me for today and of course now we just blend that in Okay, so next up is powder, and I'm taking this big old jar of Kryolin powder. And Kryolin makeup is basically used for photo shoots and stage makeup and SFX makeup, so it's really good quality and it is great for cosplay photo shoots. And so I'm taking on a tapered brush like this, and I'm just pressing it in to set that concealer under my eyes so we can avoid creasing. And then again on my nose. And then I'm gonna take a brush like this. You see, I've already got some of the powder on just for the rest of my face. And we're just pressing it in, trying to get rid of any unwanted shine that's gonna play back on the camera. And then very important to make sure that your eyeshadows are going to blend and do well. We're just gonna take whatever's left on our powder brush and just go over very gently over the eyelid. Okay, next up is contouring and bronzing. Now, I don't like to do too much of this for Snow because she just has that beautiful porcelain look. But again, in photos, as you can see on the camera, I don't want to look like this. I'm just a flat white canvas right now. So we want to bring in some definition and some shape. So for contour, I'm using this very dirty palette by Smashbox. I'm gonna take this little angled brush get it into what is left of this contour I really need to get more so the way that I like to contour I like to go just here under my cheeks I like to go under my jawbone I like to do a little bit here to get rid of that little double chin and then I'll go back in with a different brush then for my nose so it's a little bit harsh on camera but I promise for photo shoots you are going to want this so just make sure we're getting that definition so stupid 
Okay, so then to contour my nose, I am taking this lovely, teeny tiny little eyeshadow brush. It's flat. Okay, so I'm going to go down the sides of my nose because we want to make it smaller and daintier, like the little Disney princess. Blend it out so it's not just like a harsh dark line. Blend the top of it up into my inner crease. Okay, so then for the bottom of my nose, because I've got kind of a weird nose that kind of like hooks under, um, and I like to lift it up a little bit. So taking a very little bit of the contour, I'm just going to, usually you kind of go under here just to lift it up, right? I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher like this. And then to kind of give me that lifted button nose, I'm also going to put a line across here. So it looks like I have a little button nose that looks all small and cute. Okay, so for bronzer, we're of course going back to NYX Cosmetics, this matte bronzer. This I think is medium. I really should have gotten the light because it's a bit too dark for me, but it's fine. So back over where we contoured, but instead of coming in this line to define the jaw, I'm just gonna go, gonna go like all over just to bring some warmth into my face. Again, snow is very, very pale. So you need a little bit of warmth in the skin to just kind of bring her to life, you know, but not too much. Okay, so then before I put on my blush and my highlighter, I actually like to just brush away any excess from that bronzer and the powder we had earlier. So I'm going to start with wiping away the excess powder just under my eyes. Again, this is all to avoid creasing. I bet I am making some beautiful faces while we do this. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and when you're brushing off powder, it's important to brush up under the hairs so all that powder is not getting trapped. Okay. Okay, so next is blush and I'm actually trying to get a new blush today. Um, it's another NYX Cosmetics one. It's called Sweet Cheeks and it, and it is in the color Citrine Rose. So let's open her up. Okay, so it looks like this really pretty really soft now a lot of people go ham on the blush for snow which you could totally do um i prefer to go just a little bit more natural with it but i mean that's the great thing about cosplay you can literally go like copy the character to a t or do your own interpretation like there's literally no rules and don't let anybody tell you that there's rules because they're silly and so then putting on blush i just like to smile and just tap it on lightly at first so we don't get too much oh it's actually quite natural it's quite nice oh. i like that i like that and then for highlight i've got this laura mercier highlight in devotion and i'm just taking it on a little fan brush so where i like to highlight high points the cheeks i like to go under the cheekbones sometimes i like to connect those then together by blending that little gap we left in between the two bits of contour just under the nose and just over this part <laughs> i like to go there and then i like to go over my lips as well i um, just makes the lips look a little bit bigger so we'll go here okay and that's the base Done. So then I like to take a little bit of setting spray just to get all that melded together while I'm doing the rest of the look. And I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I think I just used the end of it. Okay, it's brow time. Okay, so of course I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this is in shade Ash Brown. And it comes with a nice brush like this. We've got a spoolie on the end. So what I'm gonna do first is just brush through my eyebrows like so. My brows are super fluffy at the moment. They need to be shaved, but look, it's fine. 
So with the other side of the brush, we're just going to take a little bit, take a little bit of pomade. And basically what I'm going to do first is I'm not going to go straight into the corner here. I'm going to start kind of halfway between like where my arch should be and the inner corner and just kind of start drawing a, a shape out at the bottom and then drawing the shape out at the top. Um, I actually shave the ends of my eyebrows to, so that I can work a bit better with the shape of my eyebrows. Um, so you might see me extending a little bit outwards. So now I'm going to start kind of extending that line in with the excess product that's on my brush and I'm just going to start like feathering it into the inner part of my brow. Okay, so if you're into makeup then you know the saying, eyebrows should be sisters, not twins. Right now my eyebrows are not even friends, like they look nothing <laughs> But just trust the process we gonna fix it so next i am taking this eyeshadow brush and this brown from the little crayon palette that i made up and we're just going to tap the brush into the product and fill in those brows Okay, so once we have the dip brow and the powder on, now it's time to fix them up. So I'm going back in with my NYX concealer on a little makeup palette right here. I'm just putting, dabbing a bit of concealer on that. Where's the lid? There it is. <laughs> and just clean with brows. Using concealer to fix up your brows is a great way to really get that shape that you wanted. And also, if you're into that, like, sharp brow it is a great way to get a good point like that <gasps> whoa magic okay i don't think they look too bad and then just to give them a little bit of extra definition i'm going in with this nyx tinted brow mascara in the shade espresso okay eyeshadow first i'm going to take this eyeshadow brush here it's quite fluffy but flat on top again please excuse my very very dirty <laughs> eyeshadow palette <laughs> but i'm just going to dip into this very neutral color here and we're going to put that all over the lid and basically this again is just going to help the eyeshadows blend together really nicely and as you can see it's just a nothing color that doesn't really show up but it helps to just make your eyelid all one color make it all neutral and will help your eyeshadows go on better and help them blend together nicely so when it comes to eyeshadow there's a lot of ways that you can do snow because of course we all know she has her classic red lip so if you're someone who prefers a more natural eye you can of course just put some mascara on um for photo shoots i would recommend a little bit of black eyeliner underneath just for some definition but of course you can go heavier if it suits you and that's what you want to do again do whatever you want um when you look at snow from the original cartoon movie she does have some brown eyeshadow on that's because that movie's from the 1930s where they had a lot of eyeshadow and it was very smoky um i'm gonna do like a modern smoky eye but i am gonna do a lot of browns i find that personally for myself i need a defined eye it just looks better on me i can't really pull off natural so i'm going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush i'm going to dip it into this very cool neutral brown and i'm just going to smoke that into my crease and this is just going to give us some nice definition in the crease and also go towards that nice big open doughy disney princess eye now I'm just going to take this flat eyeshadow brush and what I'm going to do is go into some white first just along my lid now I'm going to take the slightly angled fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're going to use this to blend very important when you're using an eyeshadow brush to blend do not put any product on it you don't want to be mixing anything in that you 
don't want in the eye lock. So we're just using this clean brush to blend those together. Now I'm going back in with that same eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to go into a shimmery eyeshadow and pop that onto the eyelid. So it's not very obvious, but it'll just give a nice little shimmer to open up the eye and again, blend. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with a pencil eyeliner, Smolder Coal Pencil from um, Soap and Glory. Make sure it's paired, you've got a nice point on it. Again, you can do a few things with this. You can go with a white or like kind of flesh colored um, pencil on the waterline and then put your eyeliner just underneath to make your eye look even bigger. I'm just gonna go straight into the waterline with the black. Okay, so here's a little tip that I have. So I have that, like I said, on my waterline. What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of it because it's so creamy and nice and blendable. I'm just gonna close my eye and just put the tiniest bit on that outer bit of my lash line, just because in a second, we're gonna use some black eyeshadow to blend up and this will just add to the smokiness of the look. Okay, so now I am taking another eyeshadow brush. This one is again angled and it's flat. Perfect for smoking out your eyeshadow. So I'm going back into my little made up Krylon palette. I'm going to take that black. Just a little bit there. Make sure you tap off that excess. We do not want to get to this point in our makeup. Just have black eyeshadow fall down our face. So I'm just going to smoke out underneath here. Not too much. We don't want to go too emo with this, but just I prefer to be it just a little bit smoky. Um, oh, you can also use a dark brown as well if you don't want to go like for the harshness of the black. I just prefer black. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a very gentle smoke on underneath. And then what I'm gonna do is take another little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna start kind of just smoking out a little bit of black, of black eyeshadow. Blending slightly up into the crease. This is all just to give you a nice, Bit of definition around the eye for your photo shoots. See, already so much better. You know, I see Snow White getting a lot of hate for being like a boring princess. Um, she's one of my favorites, and not just because she's like, <laughs> not just because I look like her. Um, like when I think of Snow White, I see a young girl who has been through a lot and has never let it get to her. Like she easily could have turned around and was like, well, my stepmother tried to kill me and keeps me away from everyone. So I'm gonna be mean because no one was ever nice to me. But she didn't, she stayed nice because all she, truly all she wanted was just fall in love and just be happy for the rest of her life. So she stayed a good person and she's kind to every single person that she meets. Even down to when she's in the forest and comes across the animals and she snaps and she apologizes. <laughs> Even though she was just scared out of her mind from the scary forest. So to me, I see Snow as being strong and brave. And I know some people might look at the story and think it's a terrible message for kids, but like, I think it's great. Okay, back to that same little blend and brush. Let's get that out. I really smoke out that black, so it's not really harsh. You know what else I don't understand? How come everybody hates on Snow White, but everybody loves Aurora? Aurora does nothing. She's got like 17 lines in her whole movie. She's only there for about 17 minutes in total of her whole movie. That movie's about Maleficent and Prince Philip, let's be honest. We're nearly there, I promise. Okay, so now I'm taking my Stila liquid eyeliner and this is where it could all go wrong, kids. <laughs> I wanna try and keep this to a small wing. and keep that line as tight to the lash line as possible. And just add a very subtle, subtle little wing. I'm not great at wings because I have very hooded eyes. Okay, mascara. So my favorite mascara of all time is this Rimmel London Lash Accelerator endless mascara. I just think it has the perfect wand. 
Look at that. <gasps> Look at the difference. I like to put mascara on the top and the bottom. Just look at the difference that makes, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's it for the eyes. Now, of course, you can totally put on false lashes if you want, um, especially for a photo shoot. They're a very good idea. I just don't want to today. And then the last step, of course, is her iconic red lipstick. Oh, does no red lip just instantly make you look fancier? <laughs> and the very, very last thing I like to do is put on another bit of setting spray. I just bought this NYX Dewy Finish one, which I ju literally just opened it and already has lipstick all over it. Why is my life such a mess? Okay, and that's the look. So let's get into costume and see it all together. Just a whistle while you work. I can't whistle. <laughs> and that is it, everyone. This is how I transform into Snow White for my cosplay photo shoots and princess parties and so on. I really hope you like this video. Please check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I would be so, so happy if you would also like and comment on this video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know who your favorite princess is or just your favorite Disney character. And it would mean so much if you would also subscribe. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.